let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day on this Tuesday of the 32nd week of Ordinary Time. We ask that you touch our hearts in powerful ways that we may live the faith as you call us to do. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, today, of course, as I said, was Tuesday, and we're continuing in the reading of St. Titus. Uh, This is St. Paul to St. Titus. And he's talking about how to live in the the Christian way. Now, something I thought I'd, I'd address this, I was talking to a confirmation class, and I was teaching the last class of the year. And one of the things I did is I encouraged them to go see the movie uh, Interstellar. And my whole class was based on the movie. So we didn't show it. And we didn't have to get into all licenses and all that stuff. But I asked them to watch it at home, to rent the movie, to watch it at home. And then we talked about it. Because there's certain things. And I explained to them, no one teaches confirmation the way I do. And I'll tell you that right now. No one teaches confirmation the way I do. <laughs> but anyway, I teach in confirmation. And one of the reasons is because I really work with an understanding of faith in science. It's something I do. It's something I preach a lot about and I talk a lot about. Now, in light of that, I also add with this understanding of faith in science, I talk to them about language because I speak three languages. Now, my second language is Spanish. My third language is Portuguese. And I don't speak French, even though I took five years of French in school. We won't go there. So anyway, um, so I speak three languages. And one of the things that I found, and anyone who speaks another language will tell you, is there comes a point where you're thinking in the language. So automatically, you just go right into the language and you think and your, your brain automatically works in such a way that you're just thinking in the language. And sometimes you can just suddenly realize, uh, you know, that you didn't realize what language you were speaking. You'll just go, oh, oh, what language was I just speaking? And then you realize, well, the person doesn't speak English, so it must have been Spanish or Portuguese. I've Probably every priest who speaks another language has had the situation where they begin mass and everyone just looks at them as if you were, they had seven heads and you go... I didn't do that in English, did I? And they go, no. And I'm like, sorry. So, but you're thinking in another language. And that's how we're supposed to believe. It's not a case of we believe. Do I believe in God? Yes, I believe. It's a case that we understand our faith to the point that we're thinking in it. And everything we see within the context of faith. So that's why I am very much embrace science because I see science within the context of faith. So anyone who sees science as being competitive to the faith doesn't understand either. But when you see and understand the faith in the same way that you understand how you're speaking English, then you will realize that there's a whole different way of thinking. And that's the way I think. And I use that to teach uh, our faith using the movie Interstellar. Now, why do I bring all of that up? Because it obviously has nothing to do with the reading since the movie did not exist, neither did the Spanish language exist when Paul was writing this. Well, no, it's really simple. See, what's happened is Titus is actually a Gentile Christian. So what that means is he was never a Jew. So he had to learn his faith from the ground up because he would have learned his faith. He would have learned the Gentile, even Greek or Roman understanding of the way the world works. In this case, it would be Greek. Uh, The Greek understanding of the way the world works. Now, we can go back to the teachings of Aristotle, but remember, Aristotle never encountered Christ and he was not Jewish. So he would understand things like natural law and everything else, but now they're coming to a whole new comprehension of what it means to be a human being, of what it means to be uh, to to exist in the understanding of Christ. So now he's talking to them. Uh, he's talking to Titus. Paul is talking to Titus, Titus of how to talk to others and how to live the faith as a person of faith. Now, he's talking morally, but remember, the morality is based on the vision. 
So it's not just a basis of morality. This is one of the reasons why I don't believe in just quoting the Bible and telling people how they behave, because the morality is based on the vision. So they're living in a world where people are living a very different morality, and maybe what we would look and as a more um, immoral morality. However, he's teaching them to live a solid morality. Why? Because of the vision. And we see that in something I didn't touch on yesterday in the very beginning of the letter. As the letter begins, St. <clears throat> Paul talks about this powerful understanding where he begins with these words of being rooted in the hope of eternal life in that God has given to us. So it's eternal life. Well, once we understand the concept of eternal life, then we're dealing with something that's a whole different focus of what we actually believe. It's a whole different focus. It's not a matter of... You know, it's just a whole different of what we believe in who we are. It's not a matter of, well, we should live the good life so we can get to heaven. It's a matter of, oh, everything has changed now. Everything is different now. Now that I understand what this eternal life is all about, which is why if you ever want me to come to your parish, discuss the faith in terms of interstellar, I will I will lead people to understand the faith in a very profound way. Let me know. We'll be back on the other side of the break. You're listening to St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony. Anthony Parish in Alston. You can now leave a message for us, which we can air and discuss on this program. Just call 617 297 7452. That's 617 297 7452. 617 297 7452. Feel free to call, leave a comment, a question, or even feedback, and we may play it on the air. I can discuss your comment or question as well, so give that a try. 617-297-7452, 617-297-7452. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com, and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out catholictv.com. And don't forget our own website, catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. So, Paul continues his theme in chapter 2, as we've been talking about, and of course, if you have your daily missile, whichever one you may have, the word among us, magnificat, bible.uscb.org, or actually, uh, you, you know that places sell this missile that is... Um, the full book, the you know, the, the entire year. Uh, whatever missile you're using, of course, you can look through this and it has this reading. And one of the things that you m may see there is his instructions that St. Paul gives to Titus are all based on this different understanding. So he's teaching them about the graces of God. But as he says, training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires. Why? Because we have a different way of understanding. The Lord is essentially, and that word training us is important, essentially leading us to understand how to live our life so that we are ready to enter the kingdom. This is something maybe a lot of people may not understand if they think of the model as you have to live a moral life so you can get into heaven. That is a a merit-based model, and this is something that Catholics and evangelicals reject, although many people don't think that Catholics reject this, and some Catholics actually don't because they're it's wrong teaching. It's not a matter of we earn our way into heaven, and I know there are a lot of Catholics that may believe this, and so there may be evangelicals shaking their head going, yes, we know, but anyway, may believe this. It's not a matter of earning your way into heaven. It's a matter of understanding a whole new way of living because you understand the reality of what Christ has done for us. 
So that's where it comes from. So as as you can see, St. Paul is talking about worldly desires, godless ways. What is he talking about? He's talking about those people that do not have an understanding of who Christ is. Now, obviously, Titus is out to teach that, but until that ways, he's saying, no, you've got to live by this different vision. And if you live by this different vision, people will understand a different way of believing and knowing who Christ is. So that's what you're called to do, to live this different vision. Now, and by doing so, that's so that's why we live the moral life that we do. And not only do people not understand this, if they don't understand it, they don't teach it well. And this is why St. Paul is teaching the importance of understanding it so he teaches it well. So what happens is anytime you feel someone is angry at us because of what we believe, it you can guarantee the reason is because what they understand, what we believe was not taught well, period. And that's where it comes from. And it's not lived well, it's not taught well. So everything comes from, we understand a new way of what it means to be a human being because we've encountered Christ. And he is teaching us this new way. That was what Christianity was originally called, based on this new anthropology, which leads us to live this morality, and the morality teaches others what we believe, and that's why the morality becomes important. We're going to talk more tomorrow. Have yourself a blessed day. We'll see you then. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.